Guys, it's the last day of 2022. We got chips and new harness. Okay, so it is the last day of the year. And we got chips on the new food. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to start her today. But look at this god dang chair. Yeah. Um. And update. I got a job. Ah! And... Yeah, we're just gonna clean up my room. I made my bed. I'm putting these clothes on, no dirty clothes. Um, let me get Chip's bed. This right here, this monstrosity. We went shopping yesterday. Um, as you can see, the box of briefs and that shirt and it says Ross and stuff like that. That needs to go back because it's too small. But the rest of that stuff needs to find a home. So let's get to it. So y'all, this is, I think, the best that I'm going to be able to do for today, for right now. Um, a lot of these things need to go in my car, but I also need to go through my car. And that's what I'm going to be doing while I'm here. So uh, I can't even wait. I'm kind of excited because I also need to go through my bookshelf because I have a lot of books on investing. But it's like stuff that I found from the, the thrift store and like yard sales. So it's like idiot's guide to making money on wall street idiot's guide to direct stocking stock direct stock investing that works ma that works and and then and then we can go to walmart together then we can go get we can meet back at the house and then go to walmart together or something all right sounds great then i got like the way of the turtle investing at level three got a lot of stuff going on guys this is what my uh bookshelf is looking like and i just went to books million bought a whole bunch of um i bought a whole bunch of books i bought this book this book and this book and this and this and this and this and then i bought this book right here and i also have this book and this book and i took out these two books because i got them from yard sales 30 day hard tune up and then this hugs for women which is just like little things um that you read and they're cute but i don't read it and i like honestly i think it's just like little stories and affirmations and stuff like that story sayings and scriptures that encourage and inspire uh, so a lot of this stuff is going to go back into my car but i have to go through my car which is going to be done another day it's just another project for another day this is probably going to be a project that I do for today because I want to have like my um my like mindset books. I had like my mindset and my like learning books like I have tarot, reiki, chakra, um dreams and then like stuff like do the work, you're here, they dance with anger. So I want all my self-help books and then as well as like the fiction in my journals on this shelf maybe and then do like all of my um or maybe I can do all of my learning and then all of my, I don't know. I'm going to figure this out, these two, because this is really where I have all my books at. These two, and then I just have like little things and then my guitar learning and then like yearbooks and then just other stuff and other stuff. Here's my guitar, I still don't know how to play. Uh, anyway, I'm going to figure this out. We're going to do it because I'm trying to get my bed clean, which is not looking horrible and... This is looking pretty good. I did organize this stuff a little bit more. I've got like little treats for chips that was going to go in my car. I got some more shea butter, some cereal, and a tarp. That way I can, if it's raining, I can hook it to my my um trunk. And more books, my atlas. And this is the new food that we have chips on. Limited ingredients, salmon and sweet potato. Wheat, soy, and grain-free recipe. I need to read the ingredients. I don't know. She tore it up, though. I gave her a little bit, and she tore it up. But I heard that it was really good, so we'll see. Maybe I'll do some research on it. Guys, as I was cleaning, I was watching Nikki Delmenthal's new video about the um, van that she got. She moved out of her Prius, and now she's in a 4x4 Sprinter van, some, 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 some. And, <laughs> and um, it kind of just made me think. Well, no, it's just like I was just watching it, and I don't know. You know, like for me, because I want to live in my car full time and travel the world, it's like, it's okay that I'm taking this break. I think that the video just allowed me to give myself grace, I guess, because I'm like literally 20 years old. I just got a dog. The dog fell upon me. Like, I feel like she's my soul dog. So basically, 
um she was talking about how she lived in her prius for three years and now and she tried all these different places or all these different cars and then she decided on her van and i feel like that well i know that i want a van over all the other things that she was talking about that she tried out and stuff like that i know a van is going to be for me but i do want four by four i'll be able to find it i don't i don't doubt it it just allowed me to give myself some grace you know i'm young i'm so young and yeah i but I, I i do believe that i'm heading in the right direction though because i have a plan and that's all that matters i'm gonna go put some chapstick on drink some water and continue cleaning i'm not going to sam's my mom has got a lot of stuff she wants to do and i just want to clean up and continue to set up a plan i do believe i am going to be making a new vision board and all that stuff but that'll be in the year that'll be in 2023 because today is 2022 and tomorrow will be 2023 so quesadilla pico guac sour cream cheese Okay guys, so, uh, excuse me. I am looking through my financial books right now and I know that I want to keep, so I'm trying to convince my financial books because I have a lot of financial books and I have not, when it comes to finance, it'd be boring. Like it really, do, it really, it really is boring. Like the books, like, I'm sorry, but I need some like something to get me going. Like I need some type of story, like something like, uh. I can't. It's like reading a textbook, like straight up for real. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this book right here. The Millionaire, the One Minute Millionaire, because I read the little prologue or whatever on the, on the uh, flap and it, oops, sorry, babe. It was saying like on the right hand side, on the right hand side of the book is a fiction, a fiction story about a woman who has to make a million dollars in 90 days or she's going to lose two of her kids or the both of her kids I guess and then on the left hand side is strategies I guess like that or ways that she's going to make the money or something like that so that right there sounds interesting to me we got fiction and nonfiction in one book sounds great it's going to keep my attention um when it comes to finances like I straight up like because mm -mm. they start talking about like acronyms and i'd be like first of all what does that even mean they tell me what it means and then like i forget what it means it's like no i can't uh -uh, i'm sorry but i got a whole bunch of other books um master your money sounds girl is you trying to give me a kiss or something master your money sounds like a good one the way of the turtle sounds like um what is that white man that one white man who got rich off stocks like late in his life like in his 70s or something warren buffett i think that sound like him, the way of the turtle, because didn't he like buy stocks and it didn't like, didn't like, <laughs> he made like investments in the stock market or something. I don't freaking know. Um, when it comes to like, I'm telling you, maybe, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read The Millionaire, The One Minute Millionaire, and then when I read about the strategies, hopefully, I'm going to put these maybe just on a different shelf. And then I'm not going to get rid of them until I know that, like, I don't need it. Like, um, this one, this book that I have, like, a lot of these are by, um, what is that one, that one, uh, freaking textbook company? Bruh, literally, um, McGraw-Hill, like, a lot of them are this company right here. I was going to say, like, I know I done seen McGraw-Hill, like, 25 times, like, mcgraw hill yeah like i got three books right here mcgraw hill like fourth one like a lot of them are this textbook company and i'm telling you like it's literally like reading a textbook and i that's not interesting who the freak finna read a textbook but i need to get serious with myself if i really want to be making some money guess who got to read a textbook me i'm lying i don't have to read a textbook but what i'm gonna do is read these books that are a little more interesting that way i can get through it and then maybe like like this one book I have, Dividend Stocks for Dummies. It says on the front, learn to, it says learn to successfully add dividend stocks to your investment portfolio, learn to effectively research companies, learn to gauge risk, growth, and return, learn to increase your dividend investments. And I kind of, I want to learn about the two in the middle, effectively researching companies and then gauging risk, growth, and return. Because that way, if I know how to do that, I can 
had those stock i guess i just need to read this whole goddamn book it's, it's not that long i just when it comes to these acronyms and all these terms i just need to stop thinking of thinking of it as hard just do it just be so for real with yourself girl come on now so that's what i'm doing right now i'm kind of just going through what i'm gonna read first and stuff like that i'm gonna try i'm gonna make a goal for myself this year coming up tomorrow a goal to uh, reading like two books a month or something like that so yeah and i'm not gonna turn my tv on maybe for like the first six months but yeah things have to change things are gonna get accelerated we're gonna get into it <sighs> Okay guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. As you can see, that video, it just was not doing it for me. Like every single time I try to talk, my mother would talk to me. Like, <laughs> I was getting fed up. I was like, what the heck? Every single time I put my phone out, she would start talking to me. And I'm like, you wasn't talking to me earlier. Why? Right when I put my phone out, you wanna start talking to me. Like, it was like crazy how it literally was happening as soon as I put my phone out and start recording and start talking. She gonna ask me a question. I'm just like, is she planning this? At this point, she had to be planning it. But anyway, the, d the last day of 2022, um, I just cleaned all day, hung out with my mom a little bit, whatever she wanted to do. Whenever I was done cleaning, I did with her, I believe. And then um, I went to bed at 11 o'clock because I was not going to stay up till 12. I was tired and I woke up and I felt so good and I felt so refreshed. And honestly, I've been on a high since the new year started. Um, today is the 5th. Honestly, yeah, I really have been on like a little high. A, a new year's high, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I swear, like I feel high off life. I've been learning a lot of new information and applying that information. And I just feel really good, honestly. So congratulations, me. Congratulations, Ja. And I hope all of you guys are feeling the same way feeling very good about yourselves and applying any information that you are learning that will better yourself and yeah keep striving for the best i love you guys and thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me because honestly you mean the world to me okay honestly you guys are amazing bye all right see you in the next one but you knew that